Hey everybody, and welcome to the channel's first card opening video. Today we're going to be opening a hobby box of 2021 Tops Pro Debut. We're going to be looking for some names like Bobby Witt Jr., Adley Rushman, Wander Franco, Jared Kellenick, CJ Abrams, Spencer Torkelson, and the list just goes on and on. I'm ready if you guys are. Let's jump into the video. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to be opening a hobby box of Topps 2021 Pro Debut. This is actually my first hobby box that I've ever opened, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, this box contains 24 packs, 8 cards per pack. The checklist is 200 cards, so you know, you're getting a good chance at a lot of the cards in the checklist. There's also 4 autograph cards per hobby box, which, you know, for the price point is pretty reasonable. You know, they are sticker autos, but all the same, pretty reasonable price point. If you want more details on this set, check out Cardboard Connection. They're an awesome resource for finding out who's on the checklist, the different types of parallels, who you can see in the product, etc. So with that, let's open it. All right, so after all of that, all I had to do was unfold the flap. That's really cool. You can tell I'm new at this, guys. So let's uh, let's move this to the side here, and let's get out the packs. All right, so I finally was able to get all the cards out of the box. I've watched some videos of this being open. I'm not quite sure where the hits are. If I see one, I'll try and save them to the end, and I'll just go over a recap of all that we find. So let's just go with the first pack here and see what we find. All right, first card up, Daxton Fulton. Daxton Fulton, Drew Waters, Jordan Brewer. We have a flipped over card here. All right, and let's see what this one is. It's our first auto, Jake Vogel. Jake Vogel, outfielder in the Dodgers system. Set that one aside. So now I know what I'm looking for, the flipped over cards. Next one, Ivan Johnson in the Reds organization. Brian Buelvis. Austin Martin. I like that card. Number five overall to the Blue Jays. He's definitely had some struggles this year. It seems like he'll be a decent everyday player for the Blue Jays. All right, next we've got up Tyler Brown of the Houston Astros. All right, first pack down. I'll try and do a better job of sniffing out the hit. Just to recap it, we hit an auto first pack of Jake Vogel. He is the Dodgers third round draft selection in 2020. So not a bad start. Set our head up here. Let's see if everybody can see it. We'll move to the next pack. Curious if you guys have anybody that any rookies that you're looking to collect more of. Maybe it's a, a guy like Bobby Witt. Maybe it's uh, CJ Abrams or Wander Franco. Curious who you guys are chasing. All right, this is a good pull here. Grayson Rodriguez, a really phenomenal prospect. I'm trying to remember which system he is out of. Let's see here. By the Orioles, he was their first draft pick in 2018. And, man, he's shown some good stuff this year. A lot of people think that the Orioles have one of the best pitching farm systems in all of baseball. Next, we have Brandon Lewis. It's a little bit hard to know who all of these guys play for just by looking at the logos. I like the logos, just hard to know. Ronnie Marusio. 
signed by the Mets as a free agent. Heard that name before. Kobe Mayo. Here we go. Here's a boy, hometown Royals, Ben Hernandez. Take that. Always, always looking for more Royals. Oh, and look, there's some Royals as well in the picture. Jaeger Hines, the San Diego Padres. So I have Werner Blakely for the Angels and Liam Norris for the Diamondbacks. All right, second pack down. Many more to go. All right, so we have Xavier Edwards. Alexander Vargas. Nick Frasio. Milan Torrentino. An insert of Isaiah Green. Duelves Martinez, the Blue Jays. Casey Martin insert. The last card is Yorber Sanchez. And the Chicago White Sox. All right, we have Jared Kellenick of the Seattle Mariners. Colin Barber. Colin Barber, Houston Astros. There we go. There's our boy, Bobby Witt Jr. I may have to get this card sleeved up. Oh, and look right behind him. Of Asa Lacey heat insert. Like that. That's what you love to see. Gonna get both of those sleeved up. Jared Schuster of the Braves. Alex De Jesus. Justin Lance, the Padres. And then we have that says Mackenzie Gore. But there's no way that's Mackenzie Gore. Unless there's two Mackenzie Gores. Let's look on the back here. Uh, there are two Mackenzie Gores. This was drafted by the Padres in the first round. There's a Mackenzie Gore that also pitches for the Cleveland Indians. So there was my confusion. All right, we got our Royals cards sleeved up. Let's get back into it. So far, I'm really enjoying these cards. I like the, the design. You know, being pretty standard to the tops 2021 series one and series two design. I'm going to cheat just real quick here and just see if there is any, any autograph cards. It doesn't look like there's any in here. So we have Yario Pomares. It's just a guess. For the Dodgers, we have Brandon Shoemake. Out of the Brave system, we have Justin Turner for the Springfield Cardinals. Another card of Ace Lacy. Number four pick for the Royals. And when was that? Was that 2020? That was 2020. He's had kind of a rough start to the year, but I really think he's going to make some strides next year. You know, getting a, a full season under his belt. He's got a ton of potential. We have Garrett Mitchell. Heard a lot of good things about him with the Brewers, especially from Slabstocks, if you follow them. Slabstocks, Nate, of course, being a big Brewers fan, loves this guy. We have Hunter Bishop. Bobby Miller. And Yvonne Herrera. All right, next pack. I'm going to try and go just a little bit quicker so that this video doesn't go forever. So 
So you have Tink Hints for the Cardinals. Jordan Nwongu for the Cubs. Again, that's just a guess. Logan Gilbert. Shane Baez. CJ Van Eck for the Blue Jays. Another Blue Jay, Dawson Brown. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. I know this guy was getting a ton of hype early in spring training. Kyle Stowers rounds it out. All right. So we have Cole Rodeker, I believe, for the Cubs. Another Cub, Christopher Morell. Kirsten Kierstad, the number two draft pick for the Orioles. This is kind of a fun card. This is... Actually, I don't know what team this is. <laughs> Let's see here on the back. The Lake County Captains, the Lynchburg Hillcats, and the Akron Rubber Ducks. you got to love, you just have to love the minor league names. You have Jeff Criswell for the Athletics. Luis Angel Acuna, or Luis Angel Acuna for the Rangers. You have Nick Abel, or Nick Abel, for the Phillies. And Matt Manning. I've heard a lot of good things about Matt Manning. He was a number one draft pick. He was drafted in the first round for the Tigers and is really solidifying the, the pitching in the Tigers system. We have Jose Rodriguez for the White Sox. Cody Hose. Grant McRae of the Giants. Shane Baez. Got his insert earlier. A.J. Vukovic for the Diamondbacks. Dylan McLean for the Rangers. Travis Swaggerty. Then our horizontal is of Jeremy Pena. All right, we have Jordan Adams. Jared Kelly. Bryce Terang. Jordan Westberg, looks like for the Orioles. Fredis Nova. Cole Franklin for the Cubs. Miguel Amaya. And Trent Palmer for the Blue Jays. I feel like we've hit quite a few Blue Jays in this. All right, last pack of the first row. Okay, there we got a Royal on the front. Daryl Collins, outfielder. Let's see when we drafted him. Ah, oh, he was signed in 2018 as a free agent out of the Netherlands. Very interesting. Set that one aside for the personal collection. We have Alex Santos, the Astros. Nick Yorkie. Nick Yorkie of Boston. I've heard about this insert of retired players or former MLB players in their minor league uniforms. This one being of the great Chipper Jones. I like the back of that card too. The Durham Bulls. We have Trevor Larnick. Okay, I got to look at this name. Of that team, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Again, you just have to love the minor league team names. You have Brett Beatty, Michael Harris, the Brave system, and there you go, Adley Rushman, the number one prospect in baseball, or arguably, I should say, the number one prospect in baseball. I would personally lean towards Bobby Witt, but I am biased. Out of the Orioles system, he's going to be a heck of a player. I was able to watch some of the minor league all-star game with him and Bobby Witt and so many others. Many people think that the 2021 
minor league all-star game might have been one of the best that we will ever see. So many good prospects in there. Jason Dominguez being one of them. So much good pitching depth. It was just incredible to watch. All right, it looks like we've got some color here. First color of the box. So we have Burl Caraway of the Cubs. We have Robert Pawson of the Oakland Athletics. Really good prospect. Daniel Cabrera of the Tigers. All right, and let's see who our colors of. It's of Jordan Adams. Let's look at this card a little bit more. 10 out of 150. Looks like he was drafted in the first round by the Angels in 2018. It's not a bad hit there. Jordan Adams to 150. We have Tyler Gentry of the Royals. Just for fun, I'm curious when we drafted him. We drafted him in the third round of 2020. We have Royce Lewis of the Blue Wahoos. Again, the Blue Wahoos have got a pretty solid team. Adenzo Reyes and William Holmes. All right, next pack. All right, we have... Marshall Keswaski, the Dodgers. We have Pete Crow Armstrong, number 19 draft pick for the Mets. We have Heliot Ramos, Andrew Jones, Andrew Jones, like that insert. Again, of the Durham Bulls. Rocking up on some Braves here. Matthew Allen. Marco Luciano. That is a good hit for the... That is a good hit for the San Francisco Giants. Andre Lucius or Lipicious. Andre Lipicious. Butchered that one. And then Adam Seminaris. For the Angels. I don't know if you can tell, but there's almost a matte finish on these cards. I, I really like it. It's it's different from, slightly different than what you saw on the Topps 2021 Series 1. All right, we have Austin Hendricks of the Reds. We have Victor Mesa Jr. Again, another hit that was in 2021 Bowman. Another hit of... Asa Lacey, and it looks like we've got a flipped card, so I'm going to set this one to the side because I think that might be an auto. We have Justin Foscue, number 14th draft pick, the Texas Rangers. We have Carter Baumler of the Orioles. Tyler Soderstrom, number 26 overall, the Athletics. Moldero well, Patino. All right, we have Corbin Caro, outfielder. I've heard some good things about him this year. In a future video, I'll try and share some resources that I use in trafficking prospects or that I'm using in just keeping up to date with baseball or just sports card news in general. So we have P.D. Haplin. Can't forget him. Cleveland Indians. Jeremy De La Rosa for the Nationals. I know he was a, another target in 2021 Bowman. Try and get him sleeved up. Carson Tucker of the Indians. We have another Royal, Nick Lofton, our number 32 overall. Done really well on Royals. All right, we have the Atlanta Braves. Shea Longaris, Longarels, Shea Longarels, butchering some of these names, Gabrielle Moreno, 
Oh, he's been a name to watch. Signed by the Blue Jays in 2016 as a free agent. We have Victor Victor Mesa to round it out. All right, we have Carlos Rodriguez. Michael McAveen. McAveen. We have Trent DeVoe. An insert here, Power of Riley Green. It's kind of fun. Riley Thompson of the Cubs. Landon Knack of the Dodgers. They just seem to crank out pitchers. Patrick Bailey, number 13th pick of the Giants. And your Severino. So we have Jake Vogel, again, just pulled his auto earlier. As you can see, right above you. Evan Carter of the Rangers. James Beard of the Chicago White Sox. Major Scale of Mackenzie Gore. Not the Mackenzie Gore of the Cleveland Indians. Hudson Haskin, the Orioles. Go Eric Pena for the Royals. I know he's kind of an under-the-radar prospect. I believe he was signed as a free agent yep, out of the Dominican Republic in 2019. He'd be somebody I'd look out for. I know his autos are actually fairly high. I looked into it earlier this year, and I think several were um, non-color Bowman Chrome autos were going for around $100. He was another player in the 2020 Bowman. Set him to the side. We have Slade Ciccone for the Diamondbacks. He's actually someone I've got a few Bowman Chrome cards of. And we have Alexander Vizcaino. Here we go with a Riley Green. We have Colt Keith for the Tigers. Forrest Whitley. A Ken Griffey Jr. This one we've just got to sit down and look at for a second. Ken Griffey. I love the photo on that too. Came up with a San Bernardino spirit. See just a little bit of fraying at the top of the card. Well, that could simply just be could simply just be the light shining off of it. I like that insert. It's really fun. All right, back to your regularly scheduled program. You have Yordas Valdez of Cleveland Indians. Well, I guess now I keep I've been saying Cleveland Indians throughout this entire video. And it's now the Cleveland Defenders. Honestly, I don't think the name itself is that bad. The logo leaves a little bit to be desired. All right, getting back to it, we have Jimmy Glowinky. We have Jimmy Glowinky for the Giants. Isaiah Campbell. What's the... The team name on the back here. The Modesto Nuts. What a name. What a name. Ah, and interestingly enough, he is out of Olathe, Kansas. Not too far from me. It was just meant to be that I was supposed to turn the card over. Isaiah Campbell. We have Mario Feliciano rounding out that pack. All right, we have for the Cubs, Ethan Hearn, Nick Matten, Simon 
Musatoli, and we've got a flipped over card, so I think that's our auto. Once again, I'll set that aside. Come back to it. We have Seth Corey. It's for the Augusta Green Jackets. Mason Wynn for the Cardinals. Jordan Groshans. Jordan Groshans. I've heard of Jordan Groshans. Let's see. He was out of the Blue Jays system. Was their number one pick in 2018. We have Nolan Jones. We have Michael Saini. Xavier Warren for the Brewers. Nick Gonzalez of the Pirates. An up and comer in their system. Nick Bisco for the Rays. Noel V. Marte. For the Mariners, Owen Casey, Arizona Cubs, Alfonso Rivas, or Rivas, probably Rivas, drafted by the Athletics, the fourth round pick in 2018. All right, we have Zach Daniels, the Houston Astros. We have Cade Cavalli. With the Washington Nationals. Tyler Freeman. Have a heat insert of Edward Cabrera. Have another insert of Aaron Sabato with the Twins. Kevin Alcantara with the Yankees. Seems like all the Yankees prospects just were killing it this year. Jared Jones, the Pirates. And George Kirby. George Kirby. All right, we have Gage Workman for the Tigers. Eric Rivera, the Angels. Alika Williams for the Rays. Grant Levine. Max Meyer, the number three pick for the Marlins. And that was in 2020. He was the pick right before Asa Lacey. Casey Schmidt for the Giants. Jefferson Espanol. Or Espinal. For the Diamondbacks. And we have Vidal Brujan of the Rays. For the Dodgers, we have... Clayton Beater, Hayden Cantrell of the Brewers, Spencer Torkelson, it's a good hit there, the number one pick for the Tigers, Alec Thomas, have Josiah Gray, I believe was traded this year, incredible pitching prospect, in fact I think he was he was traded, I believe, to the Nationals as part of the deal to get as part of the deal to get Max Scherzer. Hunil Choi, the Dodgers. Tristan Casas, somebody to be looking out for the Red Sox. And Disobel Arias. Antonio Gomez of the Yankees. Jordan Blazdovic. Brian Mata. Insert of Miguel Tejada. Mondesto A's. Brennan Davis, the Cubs. C.J. Abrams, the guy that was gracing the, the box cover. Sandy Gaston of the Rays. Josh Young. All right, this is our last pack, so hopefully our auto's in here. Otherwise, we might have been skimped out. Hopefully not. Yeah, we've got our auto in here. So we'll just start with this one. 
We have Julio Rodriguez. The good old Modesto Nuts. Julio Rodriguez. That was a Daniel Lynch, another Royal. It looks like him in his Wilmington Blue Rocks uniform. He's starting to round into form this year. What a hit. Wander Franco. Back to back. Some good stuff. Wander Franco, the number one prospect in all of baseball right now. And I believe just went on the IL, unfortunately, but had a really good start to his season. After his call up. Oh, it looks like we've got two hits, maybe. Back to back here. Maybe the cards just got flipped around. We have Reed Detmers, the Angels. Simeon Woods Richardson for the Blue Jays. Antone Kelly, or Antoine Kelly. Our auto is of Werner Brakely. Angels. He was their fourth rounder in June 2020. So not the best hit, but not terrible. And the last card in that pack was Spencer Strider. So let's go back to our autos that we had covered up earlier. This is an insert of Cole Henry that was behind it for the Nationals. And then our auto. Number 37th overall, Alika Williams for the Rays. It's not bad there. And let's see who Asa was covering up. It looks like this is a numbered card as well. Number 34 draft pick. Justin Lance. Justin Lang, I'm sorry. Justin Lang. Out of 25, wow. Out of 25. So some good color right there at the end. Would love for it to be a bat, but still a, a great hit. Alrighty, guys, we got everything sleeved up. Let's just do a quick recap. First off, we'll go over the MILB Legends 1964 Tops design, and we pulled Ken Griffey Jr., really like that card, Andrew Jones, and Chipper Jones. Really hit the Braves. We pulled a power insert of Riley Green. And then between the 1991 Tops inserts and the regular base cards, we really pulled all the big hits. We got Spencer Torkelson, Max Meyer, Nick Gonzalez, Slade Jaconi, Kirsten Kierstad, Blaze Jordan, Garrett Mitchell, Austin Martin, Julio Rodriguez, C.J. Abrams, George Kirby, Riley Green, Corbin Carroll, Marco Luisiano, Royce Lewis, Robert Pawson, Adley Rushman, Shane Baz, Jared Kellenick, Grayson Rodriguez, Wander Franco, Vidal Brujan, and then we pulled a Jordan Adams, and then the Jordan Adams out of 150. So some pretty good color there. Recapping the Royals, we got Ben Hernandez, Daryl Collins, Bobby Witt Jr., Tyler Gentry, Nick Lofton, Eric Pena, Daniel Lynch, and we really cleaned up on the Ace of Laces. We got a 1991 Tops, and I didn't even realize this when we pulled it. We pulled an Asa Lacy 1991 Tops out of 50, and I completely missed that. Also, we pulled this heat insert of Asa Lacy. And then of our autos, we pulled Jake Vogel, 
Werner Blakely, Alika Williams, and Justin Lang. And Justin Lang out of 25. So overall thoughts, pretty positive. You know, we were able to hit quite a bit of color in this. The Justin Lang out of 25, the Asa Lacey out of 50, some decent sticker autos in all of that. You know, the one downside I would say to this is that I was a little disappointed with the quality control. There was, especially on the Asa Lacey card, let me see if I can find it too. If you look on the back, see a little bit of a line there. There's some fraying on the edges. And actually on the Spencer Torkelson card, there was a, you could kind of tell where there was a, a bit of a cutting issue where you could see a little bit of this blue that was on the side. Um, some deaned corners as well on quite a few of the cards. But overall, you know, I think this is actually a really fun product. Out of a 200 card base set, each box is going to give you 192 cards. So you've got good odds of hitting a lot of different things. And just like you saw today, and I'm sure in many other YouTube videos, there's a decent amount of color in this product as well. Does this have the resale value that you would see with a Topps flagship or Bowman? No. But I think it's pretty fun. You know, for the $70, I think this has been one of my more fun pulls of the year. So let me know in the comments what you think about this product. And also, you know, is there any rookies that you're collecting? Is there anybody that you're looking at that might be under the radar that you think could be a, a really good player going forward? Or are you looking at some of the bigger names like Wander Franco and Adley Rushman, Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Witt? Would love to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your patience with me as well as this is my first card opening video. There was definitely some rough edges, uh, not just on the cards, but there was some rough edges. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me. That'll be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe if this was interesting to you. And I will catch you guys later. Blessings.